Probably no team has dealt with more adversity than the Toronto Raptors. Remember the season in Tampa and the one shining light out of that. Scotty Barnes, a fourth overall selection, who last season was named the Rookie of the Year. Myers Leonard back in the NBA as the Milwaukee Bucks trying to get on the board first, coming off of as Flynn sends it to Precious Achua with an up fake. And now a scoop shot that is good. So when they come back, they're not just stale. They still had a lot of time off where they are getting ready for the game. Portis, the three, and it's good. One of the things that stuck out to me was they were able to play different styles. They were able to go big. They were able to go small. But you see Gary Trent Jr. The three is good, plus the foul. If that's not Miles Leonard, that's Brooke Lopez who can step out. So once again, the style is not changing. Gary Trent Jr. rattles in a three, and Mike Budenholzer calls a timeout. Also checking in, Lindell Wigington, who is from Halifax, Nova Scotia. His second year in the NBA, and that three-pointer is good. Wesley Matthews, who also played at Marquette University. Shot doesn't go. Here's Malachi with a left, and it's good attacking Goran Dragic. Comes in, plays the game. He doesn't change much. It's now it's about knowing when and knowing how. Jumper for Scotty Barnes. Jump shot going. You were here when DeMar DeRozan really spent a lot of time as Adetokounmpo lays it up and through. And letting someone else make a decision and Malachi Flynn doing a nice job. Coloco with the steal. Scotty the no look. Gary Trent Jr. attacking, spinning. Thanks shot good. But at this phase of Giannis's career and Scotty, Scotty's light years ahead of Giannis. Now it's about work ethic and you saw what Giannis has done in the, like, yeah. as a face. Hey. The older brother. The older brother. He knows on the floor where he can get his. Here's Bochamp, and then as that three-pointer is good from Bochamp. Get Chris Boucher going here on a Sunday. Bobby Portis Jr. racing ahead, sends it back now. Ingles working with him. A couple of veterans there. It's in the Drew Holiday for always having to handle a basketball. Banton attacking. Yeah, great job. The, the look off. Yeah, you definitely have control over that. And you got to have the personnel. You got to understand, you know, the energetic players you see Van again using his length. The energy, as is, is you heard right there, right? You heard a player saying, switch, switch. And there wasn't a switch. As I mentioned, it's not bad because you see now this game is just turning into the Raptors reserves yep. versus the, yep. the Bucks reserve. And Crowder, three. From players 25 years or younger, guess who's number one in the league? Milwaukee. Here's Harper with a three. Only 7.7%. .7%. Mar DeRozan, he wants to send the Raptors packing. And another person on that team, Patrick Beverly, he has the mindset and he has just his approach is the spoiler, the underdog. Guarding and doubling right. and doing the things that he does. He's always interesting. Like, what's the criteria? Like, yeah. you know, I, I, I was on our team probably from a guard standpoint when I played probably the better defensive player but I got lit up every night because I was guarding the best offensive player usually so it happened. the defense is the de Danielle was awesome a little Easter Sunday got the eggs I should have wore my white suit man I'm telling you I should have wore my white Easter suit oh Scotty Barnes with a reverse slam throwing it down here's Scotty Barnes plays played 17 minutes in the first half see how many he gets here in the second half. And that shot is good. And that was great. Five points. And that was great action by the Raptors. And Gary Trent Jr. finding Precious. And I'm just impressed with Precious, his shooting. As you see Crowder with a nice floater. But Chua sends it now to Trent Jr. Here's Gary, rhythm three, and he got it. Pull up three, short. Trying to hustle for the rebound, stumbles. And he said that he was hit in the face. Here's Carter. And that three-pointer is good. 13-point game. After Gary 
was on the court. Joe Ingles was saying, hey, watch as you're moving back this way on the floor. Sometimes you understand it, too, by the way. It depends upon where the help is coming from or where you are in rotations yep. Yep. when you're racing out to a three-point shooter. But if you can close out as Portis. I don't think it would go. I think they got way better. I don't. <laughs> Here's Scotty. Oh! Crowder, the Chua, with the left hand pass, gets it back, off and running on a Sunday. What this Raptors team, they can do, I don't care who's in the game, you have athletes that run the floor, they can pass the ball, and they can finish above the rim. A high score, you can't, can't go anywhere from that. Well, there's all different pass and Chua. But no, I just I wanted to get your perspective, you know. You don't care about my perspective, you know that. <laughs> with the, with the, when it comes to that. <laughs> I remember playing against the Indiana Pacers, and he had Chris Mullen on the, on the left wing. And he went, it looked like he was going to do a reverse layup. And he finished with a reverse two-hand dunk. I was thinking, I had, to, I had to earn my stripes. And then when your 10-day with the Clippers, you did not. Winning 10. Lays it back up and through. You did not, did you? Right off the plane. Coming right off the plane. My main man, Mike Dunleavy, pulled me to the side and said, oh, we're not re we're not re-signing you. Here's a Chua with the three. 86. We'll get you sometimes, right? The, the knees, but the business. As you see, Will Barton with a nice steal. Boucher with a slam dunk. See, we got to start ranking these dunks. That's about four dunks on this, on this half right over four more threes a game than the Raptors. They're fourth in makes and fourth in attempts. Play multiple positions on defense, strong. 13 years in the league. Boucher with a slam dunk. Here's Boucher for the Harper Jr. And Will Barton lays it up and in. And I like the way he plays. He plays with aggression as well. From Seattle, Washington, of course, great history of basketball in Seattle. There's Crowder with. It seemed like it was an influx in, in with mid, or I guess 2000, whatever. But I, re, I remember. And 41 on the season. Here's Winnington. Winnington on the inside over Barton, and the bucket is good. And you look at this game and you, you see who's going to earn some opportunity and continue to grow within the game. Read situations. These are still NBA players and these are still NBA situations. Learn how to play within. Barton with the three. That's good. You're looking at situations. How can I continue to get better? How can I continue to grow and learn? And Harper Jr. with the finish and fouled. You got to realize these guys are coming in. It's just not a game. This is personal. And when it's personal, it's a different type of intensity. Reverse layup is good. In and they had Lonzo Ball, unfortunately, headed for his third surgery. Here's Joe Wees. Camp three doesn't go. And a two with a layup. That's good. Kicks it. Here's a three. Doesn't go. Let's check in with Savannah Hamilton. Uh, Thanks, Wilt. Yeah. You guys are just talking. And as we head to the seven-minute mark, well, I look forward to it. Play in on a Wednesday night as Bochamp knocks it down. And this is a Raptors team that can get through the play in. Here's Harper Jr. with a corner three. That's good. One and three, a little bit of some up and down there. But it, it's also dependent upon who's playing, yep. right? at that given time as Malachi Flynn connects. Raptors were three and one against Cleveland. You mentioned the Raptors 10 and one. That's all since February the 12th, third best home record in the NBA. Only Golden State and Memphis who are 12 and one during that stretch. Coloco on the feed from Banton. For Nick Nurse and the Raptors and for the Milwaukee Bucks.